Well, canning season is upon us and food preservation is definitely on my mind right now. And so I thought you may enjoy watching a pickled beets can recipe. This is something really simple. You don't even need a hot water bath or you can just use a big stock pot. I have shared this recipe before last year. And so I just thought that I'd rebring it about because I do have a lot of new subscribers. So I'm going to share this recipe with you. It's a honey cinnamon clove sweetened pickled beet recipe. So if you're ever at the farmer's market, if you're growing your own beets, this is a definite go-to recipe. Your family will really love them. And then I'm gonna share with you our food storage area and what we did to revamp it from kind of old chintzy falling apart place to something I really enjoy walking into and a place I know I will enjoy putting all my home canned produce onto. First thing I got to go do was pick my fresh garden beets. Now I have several beets that were not ready yet, so I will be doing this again. And then I rinsed them off outside with a hose and then dropped them into some boiling water for 30 minutes. And then you take them out and ice bath them so they are much easier to peel. slice them or you can dice them. I threw them in some jars and then I got a brine ready with some apple cider vinegar, some honey, some water, a cinnamon stick, and some whole cloves. And it smelled delicious and I just poured that over my prepared jars. After adding the brine to the jars, I then put them back in that stock pot after I cleaned it out with some water, enough water to go about a half inch over the jars. And I just monitored it to make sure it didn't rattle too much to crack the jars. And then I let them rest for 24 hours and put them on my new shelves. We weren't going to even touch this area for the longest time until I just couldn't, I couldn't stand it. It had paint next to canned products and I didn't really want that food next to those chemicals and all that that goes with it. And the shelves were just old and gross. I needed to clean it and so I just started taking stuff off the shelves and then my husband decided let's just take these down because along the way we found termite damage on the bottom and so i was so grateful we were taking those down anyways because the worst thought would be of having all those shelves fall with all my precious produce on there that i canned throughout the summer months and having it all break and fall and what a mess that would be and how sad to lose all of that food that i labored so hard in storing so we just got rid of those shelves it literally took a morning to do all of that and husband took all those wooden shelves out and we just purchased some metal shelves from Home Depot and then got some liners to go on top that we ordered from Amazon that way like my little jam jars wouldn't fall through and smaller things would sit well on the shelves. So then that took another couple hours to get that set up and then rearranging and arranging all my food storage on the shelves was another project on top of it, figuring out how do I want this to be and it's not going to be set in stone this way either. I'm sure as I get my peaches canned and my beets canned and pickles and carrots and if I do tomatoes that I'll just have to probably create more space and figure out where I want different things to go. And right now it's just a lot of empty jars on the bottoms because it's mid-July and so it's not quite, it's like a few weeks away of the very heavy canning season. So my food storage, like I said, it's not elaborate, it's not Pinterest worthy, and it's not large. We only have a family of four right now, so two little girls and my husband and I. So we don't need a hundred jars of pickles. Although my husband would like to have a jar per week, so maybe I'll do 52 jars this year of pickles, who knows. But we don't need a plethora of food as much as larger families do. I do like to have extra on hand, 
because I think it's important to just have those necessities, a little bit of surplus for times that we may need it. And so I do have that on those shelves too. This works for us and I am so grateful to have a food storage area to add my pickled beets to and my jams and my peaches and just a space that I enjoy coming down to. Even if it wasn't a Pinterest worthy renovation, I still really enjoy having this space. I didn't repaint the walls, I just left it, but not having that termite damage shelves as well is great. So I hope you enjoyed seeing our little food storage area and canning some pickled beets as well. So we'll talk with you in the next one.